You have a VHF receiver at a rather congested tower site. Your noise floor is in the low neg 100s or worse. You have broadcast transmitters running tens of kilowatts, a six-channel VHF LTR system a couple of megs away. Back in the days of pocket pagers, you had a quarter-gallon paging transmitter in the 152 or 157 megahertz spectrum, etc., 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 producing excessive noise floor that's destroying your receiver sensitivity. Yet your system requires that your particular receiver be at maximum sensitivity and selectivity possible. You've tried bandpass filters, several of them to the point where insertion loss is choking your receiver to death. And you've barely improved your system's sensitivity due to the high level of noise. You've tried band reject filters to reject the strongest carrier that's one meg or so away with minimal improvement. It's now time for a crystal filter. A crystal filter is made up using a quartz crystal as a resonator. It's very high Q and thus provides much better isolation than any type of a filter made from inductors and capacitors or a resonant cavity type of filter which we'll show you here in a minute. Quartz filter is a perfect device for dealing with this type of situation here. We can see at about one megahertz out We've got about 20 dB of isolation there at 1 megahertz out with the bandpass cavity. Got about 6 dB of insertion loss. Whereas with the bandpass cavity, we had maybe a dB or two in there. So a lot more insertion loss, but look at all the noise that has been isolated. We're, we're, we're about, uh, where are we at there? We're about uh, 30 some dB of isolation just at, a, at uh, um, a couple of hundred kilohertz out. In fact, let's tighten up on that there. Uh, let's go one meg here. There we go, a little better picture of that. And so you can see uh, how much better of isolation the crystal filter has over the bandpass cavity. By the time you would stick enough bandpass cavities to give you that type of isolation, you would be choking yourself to death with insertion loss. And with the crystal filter, um, even though the insertion loss is about 6 dB there, uh, a preamp will more than make that up and of course there will be far less noise for that preamp to amplify also um, to greatly improve this. The issue with the crystal filters, they are expensive though. They're, they're several hundred dollars. They are not tunable. So you won't find many in the amateur world. But this particular one here for public safety uh, there was a 250 watt, uh, quarter kilowatt paging transmitter at 152 in the low end of 152 on the same site and it was just obliterating uh, the, uh, the receiver on this uh, system here. This is a Master 2, GE Master 2 with a good EMR uh, 6 cavity bandpass band reject duplexer on it. And still when that paging transmitter came up uh, uh, the descents went up to 10 dB in some cases. Noise floor went sky high and uh, this uh, really took care of it. Uh, when that came up, uh, descents maybe came up another couple of dB or so. It was hardly noticeable once the crystal filter was added to this particular one. I've done this several times for public safety uh, and business radio 
but I don't I've never seen one uh, for an amateur uh, uh, system just because probably because of the price they are very expensive but that's a crystal filter 73